Dantrolene is a muscle relaxant drug that can be used to treat severe muscle spasms due to two major causes, including malignant hyperthermia and neuroleptic malignant syndrome. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover everything you need to know about dantrolene so you'll be ready for the NCLEX. For today's video, we're stepping inside a spa well known for its use of dandelion oil. This dandelion will serve as your memory anchor for dantrolene. Get it? Dandelion for dantrolene? They sound pretty similar, right? Let's move through this mnemonic story to learn more about dantrolene. The masseuse is using the dandelion oil to give her client a nice relaxing massage. This guy's muscles will feel so relaxed after his massage. Which reminds me, dantrolene belongs to the drug class of muscle relaxants. Just like a massage, dantrolene relaxes the skeletal muscles. That makes it useful in treating muscle spasms, especially severe muscle contractions caused by two types of medical emergencies. Let's touch on these two use cases next. Spas like this are usually kept at a pretty warm temperature, but it's getting super hot in here. Just take a look at that bursting thermometer. This bursting thermometer should help you remember malignant hyperthermia. Make sense? Malignant hyperthermia is a life-threatening adverse reaction to certain anesthetics in which the body reaches dangerously high temperatures due to uncontrolled widespread muscle contractions. As a muscle relaxant, dantrolene can help stop the muscle contractions that cause this condition, making it the primary treatment for malignant hyperthermia. It's so hot that the lead pipe connecting the switch to the thermostat is actually steaming. Here at Pixarize, we use a lead pipe to symbolize neuroleptic malignant syndrome, often referred to as NMS. We've even added the letters NMS and graffiti on the pipe to help you out. NMS is a rare side effect of antipsychotics and is a medical emergency characterized by high fever, tachycardia, and lead pipe muscle rigidity, describing a state of uncontrolled muscle contractions that cause the body to be as stiff as a lead pipe, hence the lead pipe as our symbol. Importantly, NMS and the muscle contractions that cause the condition can be treated with dantrolene, which makes sense because dantrolene will relax the rigid muscles, right? Now that we've covered the major clinical uses of dantrolene, let's move on to some potential side effects. Now I know why the room is so hot. The thermostat's lever is stuck in the on position. Hey, don't you think that the lever handle looks like the shape of a liver? Here at Pixarize, we use a liver-shaped lever as our recurring symbol for liver damage or hepatotoxicity. Hepatotoxicity is actually a black box warning for dantrolene, so you know it can be serious. If the patient has any liver problems, dantrolene is not the best medication for them. Watch those liver enzymes and tell the patient to avoid alcohol during treatment to minimize the risk of liver damage. The client receiving the massage doesn't seem to mind the heat of the room though. In fact, he's so comfortable from the massage that he has even fallen asleep. This sleeping man can remind you that dantrolene has sedative effects and can make people feel drowsy. This is an expected side effect of the medication and is not a reason to stop taking the drug. This sedation is another reason to avoid alcohol as well as any other sedating medications. Alright, that's all for this mnemonic on dantrolene. Let's recap. Dantrolene is a muscle relaxant that is also used to treat malignant hyperthermia and neuroleptic malignant syndrome, or NMS. Side effects of dantrolene include hepatotoxicity, so carefully watch the liver enzymes and teach the patient to avoid alcohol. Dantrolene can also cause sedation as an expected side effect. And now we're all done with dantrolene. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.